Thank you for that. We, we do have some questions as well, Mark, if you're happy just to, to, to have a look yeah. through. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, pick a, I'll pick a few out. I think this is a, a really great one from Steve. Um, he was first in before you'd even really started your uh, session. That was around how does the rate of shift from the internal combustion engine to EV compare to the late 80s when we move from leaded fuel to, to unleaded? I thought that was quite a good question to, to think about. The implications of the change from ICE to EV is what's important. So I, I, here's the thing, right? If um, the, it, I'm going to talk really simply because I'm not, I'm not, I don't maybe know enough about it. But if I had, um, if I was BP, or there are of course other petrol <laughs> providers, um, you know, I had, I had a four core infrastructure within the UK, and everybody who drives use, does the same thing. They put the gun into the back of the car, and it's it's leaded fuel or it's unleaded fuel or it's diesel or it's whatever. And that's the case. That isn't the case anymore. So um, the implication, for instance, in terms of how people make the wheels move on their car or how, what, the, what, the, what the, um, the response for that and the planning for that is from energy providers or for, for fuel providers is completely different. Um, I also think that means that the, the unraveling of um, motoring infrastructure in the UK. Parts of it.